result of a couple of hours spent with the E Marco 400 mortar and my Texas Holy Rock, putting the first two layers together. I soon realized this thing was going to be immensely heavy. This Texas Holy Rock is very dense and in fact has no biological filtration capability. So I'm solving that with other types of biofiltration in my tank. So because of the weight, I decided to make it in two halves so that I could then carry and move each half independently and be far more likely to get this thing into my tank without it breaking apart. The other aspect of this I wanted to make sure about was to leave enough space behind this between the rocks and the overflow that fish and other critters could get in and out easily without injuring themselves or getting stuck. And so that's why this is built outwards. The other thing that was happening, I realized I was starting to run low on smaller pieces of rock. Had a bunch of big ones here and I was starting to think I might have to get the sledgehammer out to get me more small ones. And here's row three complete. One thing I didn't mention before was that I tried to balance each rock in place against each other so that I could completely take my hands away. And that way I figured once I added cement, I wouldn't be fighting gravity and I could let it sit and cure and be sure that it wouldn't fall over. The sword in the stone, my attempt to chisel Texas Holy Rock. Yeah, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Now we're gonna whack it with the hammer. All right, got my safety glasses on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck in there, <laughs> I think. I guess we're getting there, slowly but surely. So at this point, my plans were kind of scuppered to create arches out of pieces of Marco rock. By this time I had the Tonga branch that I went to the US to pick up. So I got some of the smaller pieces of Marco rock that I magically created and used them to build some small caves. Then I took the Tonga branch and kind of played around with it. This doesn't look much like my original concept, but I'm pretty satisfied with it because it makes really good use of the Tonga branch rock that I had. And I still got myself some caves that were going to be under the arches, but these are different arches. So all in all, I think it worked out pretty well. So the next step would be to get this into the tank without it all falling apart.
ready for sand. So we're filling the sump so that we can pump water from the return up to the tank. I'm going to put the sand in when there's roughly two inches of water in the tank here so that I can distribute it evenly. You don't end up with a whole bunch of splashing. Okay, so yeah, there was splashing. We had to keep an eye on the rate at which the filler hose was filling the center of the sump versus the rate at which the return pump was pumping it back out again. And now, finally, it took three months since I got this aquarium, but this is day one of the cycle. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.